welcome students in today's lab session we'll be doing the practical on astm distillation this test is used to find the boiling range of petroleum fractions so first we take 100 ml sample in a round bottom flask then we put in some porcelain pieces these liquids are highly volatile so to avoid bumping we put the por porcelain pieces next we put the thermometer with the cork fix it properly then place it on the heater the thermometer put is put in such a way that it will be its bulb will be just next to the vent vapor vent so that the actual temperature is recorded now we'll be putting the vapor vent into the inlet of the condenser first we are sealing the thermometer so that there is no vapor loss from the top this has to be carefully done now we put this vapor vent into the inlet of the condenser placing the round bottom flask carefully on the heater again we need to seal this inlet so that there are no vapor losses from this end to the entire process deals with vaporizing the sample condensing the vapors and then collecting the distilled sample So in order to get the accurate reading we need to avoid the vapor loss as much as possible so that fixes the round bottom flask to the condenser now the condenser that we are dealing with is a water cooled condenser so this is a tank where we have the water inlet So if you open this tank and see inside, we'll be having the water. So the vapors will be passing through water, and they will be collected on the other side through a receiver. And this distilled liquid will be collected in a measuring cylinder, so that we can measure the actual volume. versus temperature so now that our apparatus is ready we'll first we start the heater then we adjust the power regulator such that the liquid is heated in a controlled manner there is a possibility that the liquid might erupt suddenly because of volatility so adjusting the regulator is of utmost importance slowly the liquid starts to boil vapors rise and they pass through the condenser now the temperature at which the first drop of liquid appears that temperature is noted down as the initial boiling point
Once the boiling starts, the distillate is collected in the receiver. We note down the temperature for every 10 ml rise in the level of liquid. So now you can observe the liquid is rising to 10 ml mark. So just when it reaches 10 ml, we will note down the reading temperature. The boiling continues and we will be getting more and more liquid in the receiver. Go on taking the readings at the next that is 20 ml, 30 ml. So now you can observe the level is around 32 ml. More and more liquid gets collected. So now it's 60 ml. We note the reading at 60 ml. As the boiling continues, we get a last drop of liquid. That last drop of liquid. The temperature at that is called as the final boiling point.